Welcome to another hot topic. Today we'll be discussing savage but kind of cool the trolls. Now I promise you won't have to do with a fake Jamaican accent through the entirety of this video, but I won't promise that we won't give it another shot. Yeah man. So would you do the honor of explaining why we are making this current video? Sure. This video is made in honor of uh, the first playable troll that has entered the store. Zuljin. So I'm Big Brother here with Slim Brother and here we are going to give you a long list of potential trolls that could enter the Nexus. So we already made this video once. Yup. And what happened was it was way too long. So what we want to do is give you a too long didn't watch version in the form of a list. Now we were going to try to blaze through this list as quickly as possible. Uh, we will start with what I call A-class characters. These are characters that will have to enter the game one day to know or another because they're just too big of a deal to uh, ignore. First on the list is uh, Odin, it's Zuljin. Uh, he's the leader of the Gurubashi, he's the leader of the Gurubashi tribe. And what can I say, he's a badass motherfucker. Now do you know why he's the first to enter the Nexus and why somebody like Voljin isn't uh, the first? Because Zuljin is the first troll that appeared in Warcraft. He appeared in Warcraft 2 as the leader of the, well, ma before mentioned, uh, no, it wasn't the Gurubashi, it was the uh, Zandalari, was it? No, I have no idea. No, wait, the Zandalari wasn't. He's a force troll, so he's the leader of the force trolls. Now, the force trolls have multiple traps, but he's basically the biggest that, uh, that I know of. Uh, but the second on the list is probably uh, an even bigger success. Um, in terms of his personal career, that's Vol'jin. Well, Vol'jin uh, started off as a shadow hunter and son of the local leader of the Darkspear tribe, which are jungle trolls. Now, do you know the difference between force trolls and jungle trolls? Well, one is green and one is blue. Indeed, jungle trolls are blue, force trolls are green. Um, so, uh, but after which, uh, he did not only became the leader of the tribe, but he also became the first. Troll war chief of the horde. Okay, so um, Vol'jin is a dark hunter. Now, when I say dark hunter, what do you think? You mean shadow hunter? Sh shadow hunter. I'm sorry. That's what I think first. <laughs> you first think. Well, I, if I hear shadow hunter, I think of a medieval ghostbuster. Oh. <laughs> I thought voodoo man. So basically, it's more of a voodoo themed paladin but instead of a warrior he is a well headhunter so kind of a, like a savage hunter that uses ranged abilities rather than up close and personal a lighter more flexible armor now the reason why I um, go into this particular detail a little bit more because our last uh, large troll character on this particular list is um, Rokhan Rokan appeared in Warcraft 3 alongside Rexar and what was his name? Jen Stormstaff. The Panda Brewmaster. Pandaren uh, Broom Brewmaster. Pandaren Brewmaster, indeed. You're sharp this day, that's good, that's good. Um, so, yeah, he's basically a hero that we have played before, and uh, obviously, I would like to see him in the Nexus as somebody who has played Warcraft 3 before. Um, those are, but as our trolls go, those are the only like A-class characters. Those characters who are a big deal. So that leaves us, leaves us with what I call B-class characters. Characters who have either had a sh short but intense role, either have lots of potential but haven't used it yet, or are just lore-wise really important and cool looking, but... I haven't yet really done anything. Characters who are more of a background usually hang out around the A-class characters, but like I said, haven't done anything yet. Uh, one of those characters has played a short role in Warcraft 3 and is the father of Vol'jin, Senjin. These fuckers start, start to sound a lot alike. Yes, they do. So Senjin is a witch doctor. Gods, <coughs> poisons, and wards. Sounds interesting. Now the others, uh, they're a little bit spread across my list, so give me a, bear with me for a moment. Another... Um. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Warcraft 3 joke, alright. Another is Sandabra. 
Sandabra is in fact the first troll druid who figured out druidism with the help of an ancient Loa spirit. Um, so she has a lot of potential to be real cool, but she hasn't done anything because she's kind of new in World of Warcraft. Um, another character is the arch enemy of Vol'jin, which is Zelazain. So kind of an were they friends back in the day? They were like blood brothers. They became sh uh, shadow hunters at the same time, Heroes. but he went down a dark path of necromancy. Um, and what kind of Loa does he? Uh in fact, no, I think he forsake the Loa for his own uh, for his own uh, things. But uh, we will discuss him brief, uh, brief uh, in a mo momentarily after we have this particular list. But he's basically a real good uh, bad guy to put in. Uh, let me just look for. I will cut out if we search. Too it's long. not called called villains of the storm. Yeah, <laughs> there are enough villains in in the storm, alright. Um, yeah, some more villains I have for you, indeed. Uh, Hex Lord Malakras. Uh, there was this particular raid, um, Gods of Zulaman, I think it was called, which was the first big troll patch in World of Warcraft, if I am correct. Which I don't play World of Warcraft, so I might uh, be wrong. But um, he was basically the guy who figured out how to trap ancient Loa spirits inside of bodies of warrior. So he gave uh, you Zulchin should say that 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 <coughs> sentence a bit slower. He was the fir first. Uh, he was the mastermind who figured out how to trap Loa spirits inside of the bodies of troll warriors, giving Zuljin supernatural super warriors, basically. And he basically made almost every boss from that particular raid. So he's kind of like an evil mastermind. And he looks like a gothic troll. He looks really badass. Uh, so, Hexlord Malakras. Um, and I thought there was one more that was really important but have, hasn't done anything yet. Not this, not this, not that. Yeah, I think, yeah, there's one more big deal character on this list that's a B-class character. And I, really, if you ask me, this next character is more of the Trolls Gul'dan. It's Zul, simply called Zul, or sometimes referred to as Zul the Prophet. Now, what he has done, he has manipulated the two other big events Trolls were part of in World of Warcraft, which was the summoning of a particular blood god uh, by the name of Hakar the Soul Flayer. Now technically this is a Loa, but not like the regular Loa. This is an ancient primordial being who feasts, feasts upon sacrifice. Um, and even though Zul didn't summon him himself, he was kind of the mastermind behind the operation. And after which he set in motion the events of the Throne of Thunder, in which he had... Um, uh, what was it? Uh, the first king of uh, Pandaria, first emperor of Pandaria, the throne of thunder. Shaylang? Shaylang, the thunder king. He had him the resurrected. The thunder king! The thunder king! He had him resurrected. So, he isn't dead yet, and he hasn't done anything. He, he's basically manipulating people to do his bidding for him. Everybody so far has died due to brave heroes, but. Uh, He's, he's going to if perhaps even gain his own expansion one day because he's real me, motherfucker. Um, after which, we only have a few more B characters. These characters look yeah. cool or just played a very brief but important role. I, I, I must say, I don't think that the remaining are B characters. I'm um, sorry, C characters. These are C characters. People who just look interesting and have a lot of potential, if you ask me. Yeah, all lift and powerful but short roll. So we have Force Lord Malakak. Ma Mala Mal Mal Malakras. No, not Malakras. It was a M A L A K K. Mala Malak. This one. Force Lord Malak. Malak. Force Lord Malak is a big brute, mean, lean, ice. Icing machine. He's part of the. He's the leader of the Frost Troll tribe, and he's huge. He appeared in. I think the RPG as a um, medicine man, but he appeared in World of Warcraft in a in the Throne of Thunder as an encounter called the Council of Elders. He was part of four uh, representatives of their tribes and their people. So he was a Frost Lord, uh, Frost Troll representative, and then you had. 
let me see. Uh, oh yeah, Kaz Kazrajin. Kazrajin basically is a hawk. He's a red-haired hawk. He fought without weapons. He just cannonballed the floor and rolled over your character, <laughs> beating everyone aside. He's kind of cool. It's clobbering time. Oh, yes, say clobbering time with a Jamaican accent. Uh. It's clobbering time, time man. <laughs> um, the next character is a mysterious character who has survived the wastes, which is a soul, the sand crawler. A slick looking character, very. Yeah, he looks like he has survived for ages. Yeah, he's, well, by the way, he's one of the uh, only two trolls with facial hair. Sol and Vol'jin are the two only trolls seen in World of Warcraft with a beard, yes. Well, a beard? More like a goatee. Well, yeah, yeah, well, I don't know about. As far I mean, orcs don't grow mustaches either, so I guess the same counts for trolls. <laughs> but yeah, uh, the last is not a newcomer, it's actually a character they used again. Uh, let me. Marley. Marley. Uh, Marley is uh, the High Priestess Marley, is in fact the chosen champion of the Spider Loa. Uh, she tried to stop S uh, Hak uh, Hakar the Soul Flayer, but was subdued by him, and you had to face her in a particular raid, whose name I cannot recall. Uh, so she was a minor boss amongst uh, amongst uh, others. Um, let me switch to another different character for a moment. <coughs> um, but she returned in Council of Isle Elders to represent, I think, the Guobashi tribe. Okay. So yeah, and after which those are the most interesting. These other characters are less interesting. We have Jindo, the God Breaker. Jindo had a, uh, uh, basic, was basically kind of a tool to make Hakar the Soul Flayer look more awesome. So Jindo the Godbreaker subdued uh, uh, this uh, Death Loa um, and chained him down in the spirit world. But to defeat Jindo you had to free Hakar and then Hakar um, had his revenge on Jindo. So you didn't kill Jindo, Jindo's plan just backfired on him. <laughs> but he's kind of interesting, but he's... Like I said, that's all he did, he died afterwards. And other characters are... Uh, let me see... Mm, wait, 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 I need to read my own uh, handwriting here. The confusing uh, one over here is Prophet Karzul. Karzul was basically a lieutenant that worked for Zul the Prophet. Um, he just was kind of like this uh, boss somewhere, just kind of a, like a lieutenant. He was there and you killed him, but he's kind of cool looking. Uh, but yeah, he, he didn't do anything. And then you had um, this guy did a little bit more. Can you read that? Garjal, the spirit binder. Garjal, the spirit binder, knows his way through the spirit world. Uh, you had to face him in Pandaria. He would kick your character to a different dimension, and you had to do stuff that in order to defeat him. And his spirit came back in the Council of Elders to help the pre mentioned elders. And I think you killed his spirit. Then and there. So let me double check whether or not I forgot any troll that I put on my quite decent list over here. Uh, Zuljin, Fulgin, Senjin, Rokam, Zelazane, Hexlord, Malakras, Mal uh, Foslord, Malak, uh, Karazanjin, Karazanjin uh, Sul, the Sandcrawler, Kazrajin. I'm reading a uh, quick and fast. Uh, Centabra, like I mentioned, Jindo. No, I had every single one on my list. So, like I said, this last class were kind of like interesting enemies, but you know, they were short lived. But if you ever need more trolls, <laughs> and you ever need a clean slate just to fill in abilities which are voodoo related, those characters could, uh, could make it into the game. Yeah. So that was basically a short and powerful our little list. It took 14 minutes, <laughs> but okay, that's so that quite a list. Now we'll go we'll go over every character in detail, um, and discuss what kind of abilities, what kind of role these characters could play. So if this this was the too long didn't watch version, um, I will yeah I will make a little cut here, and <coughs> but the viewer won't notice. <coughs> and uh, if that's all you wanted to watch, thank you for watching. For those who are interested in what we could cook up for these particular characters, stay tuned, there will be more. <coughs>